So, over the last year, I've been doing a lot of experimentation uh, with the idea that I wanted a medium-ranged reconnaissance platform. Albatross. So over the last year I've been doing a lot of experimentation uh, with the idea that I wanted a medium-ranged reconnaissance platform for shooting pictures, video, and uh, checking out places before I actually got off the Falcon and went there. So I've experimented with uh, several different types of platforms. The original idea was a quadcopter design uh, of which seemed to work but every design I had had with a quadcopter there are significant limitations to quads. First of all these things are uh, universally recognized and watched out for um, and to obtain anything you have to be close enough where these things are heard and reacted badly to so uh, in experimenting with various types of quads uh, home built ones and professionally bought ones uh, I started off with little uh, little drones, Sky, Sky Viper drones, and I did even have uh, a DJI Phantom. Uh, a lot of things creeped up. And then uh, I bought this little guy. Now this little guy is just a little training drone, training, training plane. But it had uh, several features that really spoke to me. Number one, it has an actual, it, since it's a trainer, it has auto leveling features and everything. You really have to try to crash that thing. Uh, secondly, I made a modification to it. Uh, it comes with these little itty bitty batteries. And these things are only like 150 milliamps, 180 milliamps, and those are great. Um, and the 180 milliamp one will give me almost a little over 10 minutes of flight time on that little drone, um, on that little plane. Now the interesting thing is, is a Sky Viper drone, which is one of the extremely low end quadcopters, is using this job, which is 600. 50 milliamps for almost the exact same flight time. In fact, I put the 180 uh, in the plane and I got almost the exact flight time that the Sky Viper got. I put the Sky Viper battery in the little plane and flew for 25 minutes on the exact same battery pack and when the batter, when the power dies on that thing actually it doesn't fully die it actually cuts the engine when the power is really low it'll cut the engine so that you still have power to the control surfaces and can actually glide it in this really piqued my interest for the Albatross project so the Albatross project now has switched from a quad copter design to a fixed wing UAV uh, which has worked out to be significantly cheaper a lot of the uh, electronics involved translate over 
So the Albatross project right now is to take a fixed wing aircraft and turn it into an autonomous recon platform. Uh, what you'll see here is the uh, test bed for essentially foam board that I cut up and turned into an aircraft. So whereas this frame depending on where you get it for a quadcopter just the frame is going to cost you anywhere between fifty to seventy five dollars that's not including the four engines you need for it and all the electronics that's just the frame to build it on the platform you're about to see cost me six dollars so on to the footage Albatross one the Albatross flight platform let's see how it works But it was a successful test run in the fact that the airframe is solid. I can rebuild this wing. Okay, so that didn't go as well as planned. Well, that was the Albatross Flight 1. it into one of the chain link fences around this barrier so it did what it was supposed to do. Some minor nose damage and some damage on the wing. Took a couple chunks out. Don't know if that renders the wing unflyable. Uh, I'll attempt to rebuild it or repair it. If not, I'll just rebuild the wing. That was the idea behind this. But she flew. So in addition to repairing the damage that I have, uh, we're going to move on to phase two to install the uh, autopilot and the auto leveling feature. If you'd like to know more about the Albatross system and what is going into it, leave a comment down below. So that's the initial test flight of the Albatross frame that I've decided to go with at least to for the phase one of the project. Uh, phase two will be experimenting with different fixed wing platforms but I'm really excited about this platform. It's uh, easy to build, it's, it's easy to fix up, it takes a lot of abuse and is very simple to put together. If you're interested to know more about what I've gotten put together already, leave a comment down below and be on the lookout for the second phase since I have now proven the flight worthiness of this platform I will be upgrading it 
with the systems that I had on my quadcopter, which is going to include an auto autopilot feature, self-leveling, and possibly autonomous flight. So, but that's well into phase three. Phase two is actually incorporating the electronics from the quadcopter designs into it give this thing the auto leveling feature and ground control so thanks for watching and be on the lookout for future phases of the albatross project hey thanks for watching as always please subscribe hit the bell notification if you want to know of new content and may the winds always be at your back.